Stuckler Flickman representing Denanka Restaurants on the waterfront. Okay, for the master of the trade routes, we decided on our signature just being something Belgium. So the, um, the dish we came up with was a white asparagus creamy risotto. Nice wintry dish, goes well with the weather right now. With that, we've seared some Canadian scallops. And the spicy part is the beurre blanc sauce, which is infused with curry. And on top of that, we do a parmesan chip and a katafi prawn. Hi, my name is Jason Miller. I'm the executive chef of One and Only Cape Town, and I'm representing Ruben's Restaurant. Uh, the Ruben's Steak and Guinness Pie, what we did here was, um, you know, we, we, we got invited into the competition and we had a look at the spice roots and went through the history of it. And we knew that everybody was going to go on to the Asian fusion Malay scene. You know, they were going to go down that avenue. So what we decided to do was uh, research it a little bit more. And what we did was we focused on the guys that were actually on the ships. You know, the, the spice route, it was a very difficult thing to do, uh, very challenging. Um, and the guys that were on these boats, you know, obviously interacted with a lot of cultures, including our own. Hence the fact we ended up with a steak and Guinness pie. So, you know, I went and researched uh, Irish traveling, uh, the sailors that were on the boats, and uh, yeah, you know, the Irish, they're very prolific travelers, and they interacted with a lot of cultures, you know, f uh, right up to Brazil, you know, Germany, uh, it goes on, Chile, South Africa, and then made the way around the east. So what we did was we thought we'd bring a little bit of what they would have when they got home, because these guys were at sea for sometimes up to five years at a time. And um, so, yeah, that's how we ended up with the steak and Guinness pie. Hi, I'm Monica van Rien and I'm the executive chef at Signal Restaurant at the Cape Grace Hotel. Okay, my signature dish is a babuoti crusted springbok loin. Um, it's pretty much a deconstructed babuoti dish. Uh, when I got the brief being masters of the trade route, I thought nothing better than a traditional South African dish and utilizing all the traditional flavors. So what I've done is taken out traditional babuoti um, made the babuoti flavours into a marinade for my springbok loin, crusted it in that and then it's been grilled. Um, I've done an almond crumble to top it all off, uh, which, added, which, which adds some texture to it and then a babuoti jus and a pickled mango puree on the side. And then for veg we've just got some sautéed green beans and roasted parsnips which have been pureed as well. Good evening, my name is Gregory Baverstock. I represent the Grand Cafe and Beach. For our signature dish, we took our inspiration from the ocean, which we're right next to. We use fresh kingclip, crayfish, prawns, and calamari to make a beautiful little light fish cake. We toss this with some fresh pasta in a light Cape Malay cream sauce. Hi, my name is Justine Herta. I'm representing Savruga restaurant here at the waterfront. So we've decided to do miso king clip here at Savruga. Uh, it's a great South African fish, so we've taken the king clip, grilled it, and marinated it in some red miso paste. We've served that on a bed of traditional French-styled matafan potatoes, which is mixed with Lainé's onions to add a little bit of extra sweetness to the dish. That is accompanied by a Asian-style baby salad with uh, coriander, spring onion, some sesame seeds. And that is also served with some tomato salsa and a garlic, ginger and lemongrass gastrique. Hi, my name is Sam Wong. I'm from Wellaby and Co. I create this dish called the bomb. Uh, due to it is a trade route about the spices, so I using seven spices basically for all my ingredients. I using the deep fried tempura prawn and the soya paper we import from America. Then I using the sear tuna with the spicy and the spicy tuna filling for the inner roll. So I roll it with the spice, dress it with the spicy mayonnaise and. Uh, 
the tempura crumb and the sprinkle with the spring onion and the, my flavor sauce is a reloaded sauce. Hi, I'm Desmond Tombana from Haba House Restaurant. The dish that we decided on for the um, spice root challenge was the biodynamically reared uh, short rib, um, which is beef short rib. Um, the uh, fusion part comes in where we are using uh, indigenous Nguni beef. Uh, they are reared in, uh, in Stellenbosch. Um, and uh, we've infused that with uh, different Mediterranean flavors. Uh, it's a slow, slow cooking process. Um, it is flavored with um, uh, Italian balsamic vinegar and uh, one of our local red wines. Uh, it's cooked very, very slowly, so that actually enhances the flavor of the meat. Um, it is then served with a French potato dish, which is the pomme anna, consisting of very finely sliced potato, um, lots of rich farm butter, and that is then baked in the oven. Uh, and it is served with a, uh, a medley of um, Mediterranean style roasted vegetables. Good afternoon, welcome to the Queen Victoria Hotel and Dash Restaurant. My name is Craig Patterson, I'm the executive chef of the Newmark Group of Hotels in the Waterfront. And with me is Jamie, who is the head chef of uh, the Queen Victoria Hotel and, uh, and Dash Restaurant. Thank you, Craig, for introducing me. I'd like to give you guys a bit more of an in-depth and detailed explanation of what the, our actual dish is about. It's a modern French uh, contemporary and obviously contemporary South African fusion. So we're bringing in the, the, the modern, uh, the contemporary French duck is the, is the actual duck breast. We've done it uh, th three different ways and uh, we, we, we attempted to, to fuse it with the uh, contemporary South African. Obviously, uh, Chef Craig spoke about the, the Elgin pear, which comes from the Elgin Valleys, which is famous for its uh, uh, wine roots and, and its wine trading. It's actually where the, where the actual pear is growing. But we like to play it off with obviously different textures, tastes, sweet and savoury. Um, and as Chef said, uh, we, we uh, attempted to source all our uh, best local uh, produce and products, which actually comes from a man named uh, Steve Boyton, nicknamed uh, the uh, Magic Man for all his wonderful uh, herbs and uh, vegetables that he uh, supplies us. I think my, my inspiration behind the dish was my background training, obviously uh, mainly in South Africa, but obviously I spent some time overseas, which is what really influenced the, the plating style and the presentation of the dish itself. 